What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got a little something for our OnePlus folks out there. So I got my hands on the new Oxygen OS 13, which is based on Android 13. So I'm gonna be letting you know where all the changes, what's new, what you should be looking out for with this update. I mean, I gotta give OnePlus a shout out for not only sponsoring today's video, but letting me get my hands on the software a bit early so I can let you guys know what kind of changes you can expect. So like I said, Oxygen OS 13 is based on the new Android 13 operating system, of course, with OnePlus's little hints of flavor. Now, if we all know, OnePlus's whole thing is leave it up to you to customize the phone to your liking. So you get a pretty fluid Android experience. You get as close to stock as possible with OnePlus giving you the reins to control it a little bit more. Now with this update, OnePlus is bringing in their aquamorphic design, which has more rounded edges when it comes to icons as well as widgets. And the level of control that you have with this new design is something we don't really see all the time. There's so much customization that you can do here. And that's the whole idea behind the whole aqua portion of this. It's water, it's fluid, flexible. You can kind of change it to whatever you want. So check it out, guys. If we jump into our settings here, we go into icons, you can see aquamorphic and how it has an impact on the icons. Now, if you go to material style, this is what you can typically get from your Android experience. As you can see, it's not very uniform. Uh, there's square icons, there's rounded ones, there's some without any shapes whatsoever. But if you go to aquamorphic, you can see they all look quite a bit more uniform here. Then you've got like things like the original pebble, and you can just straight up customize the look of the icons to whatever you like. So if there's a certain shape that you like, you can go ahead and do that. And you can of course change the size. So depending on what works for you, there's just so many options here. And that's like the whole thing with OnePlus. And that's been their thing for a long time. Just give you the reins, you control it to look how you want. And they did a really good job here. And while you can customize the look of your icons, widgets, that kind of thing, OnePlus made some visual changes as well to the quick settings. Uh, so now we have access to larger icons for some of the most used setting features like your Wi-Fi, of course. Uh, even your music is accessible from the top. So you can play and control all that right there. And when you want to get access to a little bit more, you just drag it down. And they even made the brightness bar a little bit wider so you can more precisely adjust the brightness based on what you're looking for. Nice little quality of life change there. And with the whole Aqua theme that they've got going, they've redesigned a few apps. Like we have the clock app over here, which is redesigned to kind of show like light reflecting on water with the clock. You also have a redesigned weather application, which gives you even more information, even a 15 day forecast with just a ton of info. So they're paying attention to a lot of different aspects of the UI and just kind of trying to enhance it with that whole water theme and making things easier for the user. I feel like a nice little touch with the weather app is how it mimics like the sunrise and sunset so that it can kind of feel like the actual day is moving on as you're keeping track of the weather. It's pretty cool. I gotta say though, that sun, that sun is moving kind of fast. It was just over here, now it's over there. It's about to be nighttime. <laughs> Even the settings app got a few changes. Now the icons are a bit more vibrant uh, and they're all a bit different so that you can quickly find the setting that you're looking for. Now we kind of talked about how you can customize things on your home screen. Something I think is pretty cool is the large folder. So instead of having those typical small folders that you have to tap and then open up, there's a large folder that you get quick access to particular apps. It's a lot bigger and you can jump right into the app right from there. And you can even swipe between the folder. So if you've got multiple pages, you just have access to multiple apps without getting off that original page of your home screen. And speaking of having access to a bunch of apps, you can actually just swipe and get access to your sidebar toolbox. And here, we've had this before, but now you can go ahead and edit it. So if you wanna add more applications, remove some, you can pick and choose what you have over here. I think this is pretty dope. So you can just go ahead, pop up whatever you want. Gotta have that crunch roll. And then boom, you're good to go. Now some more visual changes that we've got come with the always on display. So now we've got even more options for the always on display with some new features, uh, like being able to see the music that's playing from supported apps like Spotify. So if you've got your phone placed down and you wanna quickly glance and see what song is playing, you can see the name really quickly. 
So some nice little additions here. But I just like the options that you have with the always on display. There are like a ton that you can go through. Uh, they've got like some Bitmoji stuff. I don't really use Bitmojis, uh, but there's a few options out here. Uh, this one's pretty interesting where it uses a canvas of yourself. Well, let's try this in real time here. All right, so it's going to take this picture and turn it into, let's see, can I zoom in? No, okay, let's just turn this into a piece of art for the always on display here. Yeah, right? Dang, look at my nose, kind of chunky though. <laughs> but it works. If you're really in love with yourself, you could go ahead and do something like this, or you could take a picture of somebody else. Uh, but yeah, you've got little changes like this, which I think are pretty cool. Minus my nose. Is my nose really like that, Jay? Oh damn, that's not good. <laughs> so if you're somebody who really relies on the always on display, maybe you can't touch your phone at work that often and you just kind of need to glance over, see what you got going on. There are a lot of cool things that they've added here so that you can use to kind of enhance that experience. So as you can see, there've been a lot of visual changes so you can kind of customize the experience, get access to things really quickly. But of course, there's some under the hood stuff as well. Uh, so we also, of course, have a more stable and smoother operating system here. Of course, with every update, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. So there've been some nice performance things as well. So to make sure things stay stable and smooth, OnePlus has this AI system booster that's supposed to intelligently manage your memory. Uh, and they've also added some other cool things like Dolby Atmos, spatial audio, those kind of things that are making really big waves nowadays. So we're gonna be seeing features like that come to the system as well. So not only are you getting like a smooth experience, but when you're playing content, you're watching content, you get a boost in that experience as well. For me, spatial audio is one of those things that's like, ah, sounds cool. But when you actually experience it, you see that it's like, okay, I kind of see what the hype is about. It's one of those things you really got to try it before you knock it. Now, some of you may know I'm a bit of a mobile gamer. I might spend a little bit more time than I should on mobile games, much to my productivity's detriment. Um, but I like playing mobile games, you know? And with Oxygen OS, you get access to this feature called Hyper Boost. Now with Hyper Boost, it lets you customize your experience when you're gaming. So let's say I jump into a game. If you swipe from the top right corner, you get this section right here that lets you see all kinds of information. You can see how hot the phone is, battery life, the time of day, you know, in case you start playing too long, you're like, oh snap, it's three o'clock, I gotta go. So you got access to all that, but if you want even more details, you can go and hit system status. And now this is where, you know, you can get a little nerdy. You can see your frames per second, GPU and CPU usage. So you can get pretty intense if you want. Uh, and in here, you also have the ability to set the mode of performance that you were looking for. So if you're trying to get really serious, you can go into the performance settings. You have like a low power mode, which brings down heating so the phone won't get as hot in this mode. You extend your battery life and you can see just how much the power is distributed in terms of performance. Then you can go balance mode and then there's pro gamer mode where it cranks up the heat since you're using a lot of power. Battery life's gonna take a dip, but you get the most performance out of this. And you can even customize it a little bit more so you can control your screen refresh rate, the touch experience, all that good stuff, you know your boy has to keep it on pro gamer mode cause you know, I like to think of myself as a pro. So if you're a gamer, you know you want access to these kind of settings when they have these like gaming portals so that you can control all different aspects of your phone right from your game, you know it's always a good thing. So those are like some of the biggest things we're gonna be seeing come to Oxygen OS 13. But I'm curious, what do you guys think for my OnePlus heads out there? How do you feel about this new update? And is there anything that you wish OnePlus added, maybe we can get them to listen, maybe work on that in the future. Sound off in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. Still one of the best looking phones ever. Love this thing. I'm, I'm, you know, you know this.